Here with head coach Daniel LaForce after a 70-48 win over Holy Cross on Wednesday night. Coach, general thoughts on the win? No, I just thought it was another great team effort. Um, defensively, again, we were able to hold our, point, our opponents under 50 points, which is something we stress. Um, one thing that we stress coming into this game defensively is getting steals, and we were able to get 16 steals tonight. You know, that sort of effort for my team consistently just feels great as a coach. You know, our foundation has finally been laid, and I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. Kashea Cannon was CA Player of the Week, but she didn't shoot this well tonight. Dana Kirkhoff stepped up with 21 points. What does it mean that you kind of have that next man up mentality for this team? It's just the balance, the balance that we prepare for and prepare to have. You know, not every night, you know, our leading scorer is going to shoot well, so everybody's got to be prepared to step up. You know, they battle in practice. They compete hard, and, you know, on any given night, any one of them could step up, and that's what makes us such a special team. Three ball wasn't falling as much in the first half, but you got to go in the second half. Can you talk about what that means for your offense? Yeah, you know, we went into halftime, and, you know, we were 2 for 15, I think, at halftime, and I said to them, you know, we make a couple of shots in the first half, it's a whole different ball game. And they know, they know we can shoot better than we did in the first half, and, you know, that's, you know, when you, you work on your skill and you, you have your confidence in it, you know, and you, it's not working, you know it's there, and you just got to continue to shoot the ball on nights like this. Four straight wins, including three at home. Uh, first off at home, I think that's three in a row here this season, six dating back to last season in a row, all by double digits. What does that mean that you can come out here and play so well? You know, we're, we're a good team. You know, that's what that means. We're a good team and we're working hard. We're practicing hard. You know, the game plan has been working. Our assistants are working hard. You know, everything is clicking. Everything is working. And I'm just glad we have this confidence so early in the season, right before our conference. Big break now before UMass here on the 22nd. What did you say to your team to keep them focused heading into that game and eventually into conference play? Get A's. Get A's <laughs> on your finals and then we'll be able to beat UMass. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Here with Deanna Kirkhoff for the 22-point win over Holy Cross. Deanna, general thoughts on the game? I thought that we played great as a team. Everybody contributed. Uh, we didn't shoot the ball well in the first half, but the second half we came back, we hit some threes, and I think that's what really gave us that 20-point lead. Yeah, you uh, didn't have your three-stroke as much in the first half, but you seemed to find it in the second half. What happened? What changed? Um, I think it's just mentality for me. I mean, I know that I can shoot the ball. Sometimes I second-guess myself, and when I second-guess myself, that's usually when I miss my shots. You had a team-high 21 last game. You're uh, Co-captain Kashe Cannon had a team high 19. What does it mean that you two can kind of bounce back and forth, lead score, pick each other up when one's maybe not shooting as hot? Uh, we actually we talked about it in the locker room after the game, and it's just great to play on a team like we do because there's so many players that on, on our team that can step up any given night. Like Elise is playing great for us. Jewel can give us numbers. Christine, Cash, me. So there's no pressure for anybody to have to score the ball because we know that we have so many scores. Defensively, we've had five of seven opponents under 50. What does that mean? I think our ball pressure uh, is really what does it for us. And I mean, we work on defense constantly in practice. We communicate really well, which is something we struggled with early when we, like early October, before games even started. So I think that's, that's really what does it for us. Up next, finals break. Can I get a nice little rest there? Uh, well, physically, yes. Mentally, no. <laughs> All right, thanks, Deanna. Thank you.